Tom speaks Ignatian fluently. He lives and breathes the John Carroll mission. And both he and his wife, Mary, who also went here to Carroll, um, just tre treasure their Jesuit Catholic education. And they've instilled that in their children and grandchildren and everyone they um, engage with. Uh, but Tom is also uh, very insightful, very compassionate, and he's a tremendously attentive listener, which is such a rare gift. And he's extremely conscientious in his role here as a member of our board and as a volunteer. Tom was born with the uh, leadership gene, and so he always set a good example and a high academic mark. And, uh, it made it pretty tough on the rest of us to try to match his grades. Sometimes we did. Tom has been close to John Carroll uh, ever since the get-go. He got both his bachelor's and his master's here. Then he got his doctorate at, uh, at MIT. He did a postdoc at Cornell and then did a, uh, a, a program in management at Stanford. So he's had a, touched a lot of different institutions, but Carroll is the place that's close to his heart. He worked hard uh, all his days here, both as an undergraduate and a graduate student, but he also gave back uh, during his days here. He was active in the sodality at uh, Carroll, as well as uh, he was a very devout Catholic. Tom's always been an advocate for John Carroll. Whether he lived in St. Louis, Ohio, or New Jersey, he's always recruited students to come here. Uh, he's just, uh, he loves John Carroll. He and Mary have a special gift of not only encouraging and inspiring others to get involved, but making them feel valued for their participation. And that is just a treasure in terms of sustainability for your alumni volunteers. And we're very grateful to Tom and Mary for that. Tom has always been practiced throughout his whole life, the John Carroll and the, uh, the Jesuit motto of a man for others. You know, it's, uh, practice the generosity and, uh, and the caring and, and the example of helping other people when they're most needed. I can think of no better honoree for this medal than Tom Lewis. And I'm proud to say that Tom is a classmate of, uh, of mine and the uh, 1960 class is proud to have him as a uh, member of uh, our class. Congratulations, it's a great honor and you deserve this uh, medal wholeheartedly. Best of wishes from all of us. Tom, congratulations. Uh, this is a, a wonderful honor for you and I know it means a lot for you. There is nobody that I can imagine that is more deserving of an honor than you, the John Carroll Alumni Medal. Uh, I know how much John Carroll means to you and God bless I guess I feel as though I share it with you too. So God bless and congratulations. Thank you so much for your service, leadership, and I want to thank you and Mary for your generosity of spirit and for your friendship and for supporting John Carroll in so many ways. Enjoy your moment on campus and this special day, which I know is your second home. God bless you and Mary and all the Lewises. Tom, I'm proud to be your brother. You've set a great example to me, uh, and you've been a great friend. Uh, of all the honors you'll ever receive, the John Carroll University Alumni Medal will be the most prestigious. Congratulations, you deserve it. For his dedication to family and John Carroll University, an outstanding professional, civic, and parish leadership, the John Carroll Alumni Association is pleased to award the 2016 Alumni Medal to Thomas B. Lewis. When I think of John Carroll, let me tell you I love John Carroll. And there are two main reasons I want to just briefly touch on. The first is the mentoring that all of us as John Carroll graduates receive. Mentoring is a key component of the Carroll experience. 
And so I thank Doc Hunter and John Carroll for the mentoring that I received. I, I should add one more point about this. There, there, was, there was the personal aspect. He was the one who pushed me to pursue the PhD. He was also the one who subtly gave me the message, you need to have a career in scientific research. You know, he laid out the roadmap for my career, and I think that's really what the John Carroll faculty do. The second reason I wanted to, uh, that's on my list for why I love John Carroll, are the Jesuits. I am in awe with what the students do here at John Carroll these days. And in service, they are, they are exceptional in all the work that they do. And I, Pete was alluding to this. It, it's just tremendous. So I look down the road, that Jesuit, the principles of a Jesuit education are deeply rooted, they're fixed in place in the structure, they're gonna last through the 21st century and beyond. So I'm so proud of John Carroll, I'm so proud of knowing so many Jesuits, and I'm so proud that they put in place this structure that's going to please keep this a Jesuit institution for the future. Now, if you bear with me one more second here, or one more minute, I guess, I'm just going to say that if you're lucky enough this weekend to have a winning lottery ticket, share part of it with John Carroll. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, I, but, wait, wait, but, but earmark, earmark those funds for mission and identity endowment. That's really the future that's so important to this university. Thank you for sharing your time with us tonight.